President Paul Kagame was invited to speak about Rwanda's progress in the fight against HIV under the theme Uniting for Children Against AIDS. In his remarks, President Kagame said that Rwanda has tirelessly worked to save over 6,000 babies who would have been infected with HIV at birth. In Rwanda, it is estimated that around 6,300 newborn babies would be infected with HIV if the prevention of mother-to-child transmission program was not in place. We are talking here of little people and above all children, our children, who bear the brunt of the pandemic and in most cases have their lives destroyed. So what will it take to have a new generation of HIV-free children? We have established that prevention works, that educating our people, especially the youth, on the dangers of HIV AIDS helps that early diagnosis and treatment reduces by over 90% the chances of infecting others. We continue to support universal coverage of the community-based health insurance scheme and our decentralization policy, which will remove geographic and financial barriers to health services. Research shows that without intervention to prevent mother-to-child transmission of AIDS during pregnancy and delivery, about 20% of children would have been born with HIV and additional transmission would occur during breastfeeding. One of the speakers was a 24-year-old young woman who was born with HIV and AIDS. While she recounts her story, she challenges world leaders to unite against one cause and mother-to-child transmission of the virus. I've lived with HIV for 24 years, 11 months, and a few days. HIV and AIDS robbed me, robbed me of my childhood. And I stand here before all of you today as a young leader in the AIDS response to challenge you as established leaders. Rwanda has integrated prevention of mother-to-child transmission into routine maternal and child health services. 82% of health centers in Rwanda provide these services, and these include testing and counseling. Almost 90% of new infections in children occur in sub-Saharan Africa. The majority of these are due to transmission from mother to child. This is President Paul Kagame's final leg of his trip to New York as he heads to Chicago to attend the Rwanda Day event that brings together thousands of Rwandans in the U.S. and Canada. During his trip to New York, President Paul Kagame addressed the United Nations General Assembly high-level meeting on AIDS and equally chaired the heads of state and government special meeting on AIDS. Faith Bawazi, Orange for New York.